Dear friends, in this video, we are going to learn about drop NA. What is drop NA? And using drop NA, what are the problems you might face? Sometimes it might remove everything from the data frame. So how that happens, why that happens, what is it? Everything in detail, let's learn it. Now to understand drop NA, I have a small graphics. Now if you see, it has got several columns and it has got several rows. However, starting from the third row, there are certain blank values okay, in some of the columns. Now, when these blank values are there, what this drop NA would do? Just imagine, you know, it's a cloud of data and a couple of things would be dropped below. That means when I drop the missing values, drop NA, what it does, anywhere there are missing values, it's going to drop them. So when it drops, what remains in the cloud is this. So what is it? 1-1-2019, one, one, right? This is the data output and this one, the last one, 7-1-2019. Because these are the only two rows where there are no missing values. Wherever there were missing values, they were dropped and only the values where there are no missing values have been kept. So this is the output. Now drop in a, you can drop row wise. You can also drop column wise. Now, if you drop column wise, what happens? Each column now has a missing value. Do you see? Now, in that case, what would happen? The output will become zero. There is no output. Now, all of this, let's see it practically. Okay. So, let me show you the Excel file which I have. So, this is the Excel file. This contains date, temperature max, temperature min average and condition now for certain areas knowingly have deleted them so that it will become un easy to understand drop in it now let's apply drop in okay so first of all let me print the data frame variable so what happened wherever there are missing values it has written nat means not a time nan not a number na not a number so like that it has written for all the missing values now what this drop in will do, it will see in your data frame, which are the rows by default, which are the rows which has this NA kind of a thing. If it has, it is going to drop all of them and only going to retain those rows which do not have a NA. So let me show you one practical example. Okay. So here what I'm going to do, I'm going to, this is our DF data frame. Now, with the data frame variable, you need to apply drop in a. Simply write data frame dot drop in a. Okay. And close and open parenthesis. Open and close parenthesis. Now, if you run this, what happened? It has dropped this one, this one. Wherever there is an in, right? Everything is dropped. Only the seventh has been kept and the first has been kept. So the output is only two. Now let me show you the pandas data frame drop in a documentation. Okay. Now in the documentation, if you see, we have just applied this data frame variable dot drop in a, and within the parenthesis, we have actually did not write anything. When you do not write anything, what happens? It takes some default values. For example, axis is equals to zero. Even though you write it or you do not write it, it will take that. So, for example, if I'm writing axis, what is it? What is this axis means? I'll show you. What is axis zero? Axis means as per the documentation, when you are writing axis equals to zero, it drops rows which contains missing values. That means these are my rows, right? Wherever the missing values will drop the rows. First it will drop, 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 drop. So wherever there's a NA value, it is going to drop by rows. Now, when you write one axis equals to one, when you write drop columns, what will drop? It will check column wise. Previously, it was checking row wise. Now, it is going to check column wise. In this column, is there a missing value? Yes, then drop it. In this column, drop it. In this column, drop it. Like that, it is going to check column wise. So, for example, if I am writing axis is equal to one, and if I run this, what is the output? output is all null because our data frame variable contains in each column there is a missing value so it is going to drop everything so this is the output sometimes 
many people will say hey why when i'm applying drop in a why it is removed everything because of this reason just check if you are you know dropping maybe in each row there is a missing value or maybe in each column there is a missing value and how you are applying the drop in a would determine whether it is going to drop everything or not so when i'm applying access is equal to one as per my data each column contains a missing value so it is dropping everything however when i'm saying zero and run it it still retains some values because when it checks row by row it doesn't have any missing value so it keeping the this value and the last value rest of it is, it is dropping so you got it so you understood what is the meaning of access pretty important one next let's learn what is how parameter what is this how parameter for example put a comma and simply say how equals to now how to use this let me show you as per the documentation you can pass two different values either you can write any or you can write all when i'm writing any if any na values are present drop that row or column so row or column will be determined by the axis so when i'm writing zero it is going to drop the rows now i am saying you check a condition here what if in the row any of doesn't matter how many for example in this row i have only one value which, which is missing it could be two it could be three it is saying if any value is missing you drop it okay now what is the output of this so two now this is also another value you can pass called all you only drop that row if all of the values are blank or missing getting it now if i'm run this you can see entire data frame is retained because there there are no rows where all of the data is blank there is at least some values okay that is the usage of how parameter now let's learn another important parameter called thresh so how to use this now when you are using thresh you are not supposed to use how uh, see require that many non na values cannot be combined with how so you cannot combine with how first thing you remove how okay and then write thresh equals to and here it doesn't look for missing values it looks for non na value very important what it looks for non na values that means the values which are already present so i am saying if i am saying non na value means this is a non na value this is a non na value so all of this which is not blank is a non na which are blank they are called na non na means rest of it now if i am giving a criteria okay so for this i am going to delete this uh, seventh row you know everything i am deleting and saving it and let me refresh this data frame now if i refresh you can see all nan has come now look at this how to use thresh so in the thresh i am saying if any row contains minimum 3 valid values that means here if you see one two only two valid values where the rest are blank now what would happen when i run this it is going to drop that row 2917 if you see let me run it again okay so you can see it has dropped that 7 because thresh means it is going to check the valid or non na value so here i am giving a condition it should be at least 3 at least 3 so if i am saying at least 2 if i run it you can see it has retained that value because only two valid values are there so if i am saying at least 5 so that means what happened at least 5 means only row which contains 1 2 3 4 5 valid values one so everything else is dropped only this one is kept so these are some of the practical use cases of your drop in i hope you have got a complete understanding drop in for a long term remembrance drop in you would just think of a cloud where you are dropping anything which are invalid which are missing values you are dropping down and keeping the rest of it on the cloud that is that is how you generally remember drop in okay one of the memory clue i would say So thank you guys for uh, watching this we are going to meet once again in our next video so stay tuned and continue watching our videos and give it a like to all our videos that you are watching thank you bye bye